Hi, my name is Martin Ainsworth, and this is a light bike tutorial on how to create the tilt shift effect using Adobe After Effects. Uh, I'm going to assume that you already have a basic understanding of how After Effects works, so I'm going to jump straight in and I'm going to import the footage that I want to use. I have two files that I've downloaded from Video Blocks that I want to use of a harbor, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the footage, create a new composition. Uh, drag it onto the new composition window so the composition matches the settings of my footage and then what I'm going to do now is the tilt shift effect has that stop frame animation look to it and a high saturation and a depth of field that goes top to bottom so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to posterize the time in this video I'm going to go for the settings within the effect of posterized time and I'm going to drop the rate down to 15. Once I've done that I'm going to right click on the footage I'm going to go to time and I'm going to enable time remapping. I'm going to drag the time remapping fra keyframe down and I'm also going to drag down the time of my composition so that it just plays the bit that I want to see. So with a quick render I can now see how this posterize effect is looking with the time speeded up. So as you can see I've got a quite good time jittery thing going on there. Right, what I want to do now is I want to add the depth of field. Uh, I'm adding the depth of field blurring this top to bottom before I add the saturation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate the footage using control B or Apple D to duplicate the footage. I'm going to turn off the top layer. I'm going to select the bottom layer and I'm going to go to effects, blur and sharpen and I'm going to use a Gaussian blur as opposed to a defocus blur or a lens blur because a Gaussian blur is a little bit more severe. With a bit of experimentation I have found that the good number for this within the Gaussian blur is to set it at 7. I'm going to turn on the top layer, I'm going to select the top layer, I'm going to grab on my pen to draw out the mask and I'm going to draw a mask on this top layer to hide parts of the footage. So I've drawn out my mask on the top layer. Now what I want to do is I want to feather the edge of the mask. The mask is a little bit on the sharp side so I'm just going to expand the options, go into my mask and look at the properties for my mask and I'm just going to take the feather up to 100 which will just nicely round off the edges around the area that I want to keep seen. Okay so let's have a quick look at that so it's starting to get there. What I want to do now is I want to saturate the colors and I want to give it a bit more of that toy town, to, toy town look. So what I want to do now is saturate the colors and give it a bit more of a toy town look. So I'm just going to collapse the options. I'm going to click on the footage. Now I want to saturate the footage. I want to saturate the footage that's nice and clear a little bit more than the footage in the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a little bit of help from the, I'm going to go to effects, color correction, hue and saturation. I'm going to grab the master saturation and I'm just going to move it up to just before the point where it starts to bleed off the color. So here I've just got to use my judgment and 65 is a good number for me. I'm going to select my bottom video and I'm going to do exactly the same effects. Hue and saturation but I'm only going to take this one up to probably about 50 so it's a little less saturated than the footage that we can see. Let's give that a quick watch. So here we go. One Toy Town effect using After Effects masks, posterizing the time, and time remapping to ensure that it just gives it a speeded up effects 
Uh, if you're using percentages, then the speed up is generally around about the 300%. So there we go. This is an After Effects Lightbite tutorial, and I'm Martin Ainsworth. Thank you very much.